In this video, we're going to take a look at adding functionality to the app by raising the temperature when we hit the plus control here. And we're going to be doing that with Lua. So if you haven't seen our video yet on introduction to variables, you might want to take a look. But that's where we're going to start out is by adding a variable to this text control. And if I hit this icon over here, this is to uh, bind a variable to this text render extension. So when I click that, this window pops up. I can say new variable. And I'm just going to call this uh, temp for temperature. And when I hit finish and OK, um, if we take a look back at that control, you can see it's been turned green um, just to indicate there's a variable bound uh, to this text control. And then if I look in the variables view here, uh, while I have this selected, you can see we've got temp. And it's also over here in the application model. So uh, this is just letting us know that now the value for this um, variable is 18, and we're going to want to push new values through here when we raise the temperature. And to do that, we need to add an action. And so for this plus control, we're just going to right click, add an action, and we're going to say on press, we're going to use Lua. Um, and uh, it's going to call a Lua function. And we'll just call this temp for temperature up. And I'll hit finish. And now you, if we take a look in our actions view, that's been added. So here, we've got that in place, and then it'll reference it over here in the properties view. So you can see temp up, if we want to edit that function, we'll get this that comes up. This doesn't exist yet, so would you like to create it? And we'll say yes. So when we do that, um, we'll be taken into Lua here, and this callbacks file, the callbacks.lua, has been added to the project. You can take a look in the navigator view. That's this file here, just so you know where things are. If you wanted to start a new Lua file, you go file, new little file like so. And so this is where we're going to put in the logic to raise the temperature. So to start out, we're going to set up a global variable just so we've got a value for the current temperature. So I'm going to say local the current temp is 18 degrees, if we'll remember from the app. And then we can go down here and start adding the logic. So we can say, you know, if the um, current temp is less than 40, then we can turn up the temperature. And by that, we'll just say current temp, which is 18, equals current uh, temp plus 1. Uh, so we're just moving that value up by 1. And then to check in on what that new value of uh, current temp is, we can just do a print statement. So current temp. And when we run the function, that's going to push out into the console down here. So we'll hopefully see that value go from 18 to 19 and so on. Let's just close this out. We'll hit save and then run this. So if we take a look here, 18, we've gone up to 19. So that's pushing the values that we want to have. And, and now we've got to tie those two together. Um, so for that, we are going to take that variable that we created at the beginning of the video. So here, this is that temp value. And what I can do is go edit, copy path. And what's really convenient about that, I'll just paste it in here. Uh, what we've got here is the thermostat layer, the temp value control, and then the variable that we created, um, temp. So uh, that is what we're going to be working with. And if you haven't taken a look at the documentation, there's the storyboard Lua API. And this is a great reference guide on how things come together. And what we're going to be doing is setting the new value here. So we're going to go back into here, and I'm going to do jury.set. And there's also uh, some autocomplete here. And this is what we're looking at, the key and value to set the value. So I can just take this. The key is the path to our variable, so we can paste that in. And then we've got the value, which is current temp. That's what we've been working with. And then, so that is the number, whatever the new temperature is. And then, um, but that is just a number. What's not a number is the degree symbol. So we're going to concatenate the degree symbol there, just so it shows up as well. And then we hit save and run this again. We've got the temperature goes up, and it's working the way that we want it to. So, and this should go all the way up to 40. And then once we hit 40, saying, hey, that's hot enough. So that is introduction to working with Lua.